So, <laughs> my dog's ball was sitting right behind me, so she thinks I'm going to play, but I'm not. So that's what I got. Okay, grab something to sit on if you don't have it already. And if you've been sitting for a little bit, feel free to shake your legs out and come on back. And I'm going to start right away with my non habitual cross. And find your comfortable seat. Let your hands rest, your shoulders drop, even drop your jaw, wiggle it back and forth a few times. And then come into your ah, sacred sit. Just feeling the energy of your own energy and the energy of those we practice with, even though we're not in the same space, we're here, we're present, we're showing up for each other. And just letting all that good energetics flowing your way be felt and received. And release any thing that needs to be released. That you welcome yourself 100% to this moment. And on your next exhalation, joining your palms together in front of your heart, bow your chin as you bring all that is into the center. We'll welcome ourselves home and chant Om together three times. So begin with an inhale to lengthen, release this exhale completely, and inhale fully to begin. Oh. Oh. Bowing your chin, release your hands to your thighs, lift your chin, and open your eyes. Okay, we'll stretch the legs out. We're going to move the feet around a couple times in each direction. Good. If we add the wrists, just do this little simple thing. Maybe not so simple. Let's pause for a moment. Just flex your wrists, flex your feet, see if you can lift up taller. And then take your right foot and your left hand and just start to move those. Yeah, and then pause and switch to the other one. Good, and then pause. And now we're going to turn the feet in towards each other, and the hands are going to move outwards. So there we go. <laughs> okay, let's just do it till you maybe feel you get it. Ah, and we change direction a little bit. Hopefully, good, okay. And then just flex your hands, flex your feet. You can even extend your arms, push away, let the back tuck in, your head drop. Push, 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 take your belly in. So you maybe feel like you're counterbalancing yourself. One more breath. And then exhale, release your hands to the floor, walk your hands back to your hips, lift yourself up, lift your head. Good, let's bring the feet or the legs back into cross-legged. And we'll just take a little side bend. So one hand to the floor, reach the other arm up. And then you wave a little bit or you move from side to side, just make it yours. And then let's start to circle this arm. So it can come all the way down and then feel the cat and the cow action, the moving of the ribs. If you need to bend your arm, bend it. And I'm flexing my palm a little bit, moving the wrist a little bit, and inviting in the breath. I'm going to change direction. I'll circle the opposite way. A few times, maybe your head is moving. Breathing. Good. All 
All right, let's come back to the side bend. Okay, I'm gonna to come to a forward fold over this left knee. So I'm gonna take the right hand and maybe it's gonna go in line with this left knee. It might have to go out. And then just descend yourself in some way over the left thigh. Then the left hand, I'm gonna pop onto the finger pads and push down into the floor. It's gonna to twist to the chest a little bit. Maybe the head turns. And then find a way to just melt into this so you can release any of that effort. Okay, let's not come up. Let's walk ourselves into center. And whatever center is, we'll start with the palms on the floor and then just turning your head and your ribs side to side a few times. And then with your hands on the floor, let's push the floor away. Take your back back off your head like we did at the very beginning of class. You're pressing your back back. And then pull from the floor, pull the floor towards your knees. The spine will start to extend. Maybe the head will lift and we'll move into a bit of a cow pose. And then just move back and forth with your breath a few times. Notice if you close your eyes as you turn inwards, maybe they open as you open. Good. And then you're going to press back. So from this cat pose, the back arching, we'll walk the hands one at a time onto your thighs or the floor. Lift yourself up. Then release your hands to the floor. We're going to change the cross of the legs. Anyway, good. All right. Let's pause. Turn your palms up. Maybe close your eyes, length and tall, just like you're the beginning of your practice and just feel the shift that has happened already. And opening your eyes, right hand to the floor, take the left arm up and then just be a little playfully curious here at the very beginning. So just moving in some way. I'm gonna flex my palm a little bit, it's gonna give a little bit something. Good. Okay. And then once you feel like you're in this in some way, we'll start to circle this arm in any direction. The right hand is connected to the earth. You're breathing. Maybe you feel that cat cow action as the chest opens and back goes back. Good. Okay. Reverse the Circling to the opposite way. Keep a little flexion in the palm if that helps to open something. Let your head move. And the simplicity of movement, but there is a lot happening. Okay, I'm gonna let this be the last circling. And then we're gonna move into twist over this right thigh. So maybe the left hand comes in front of the right knee or you find wherever needs to go. And then you'll pop the right hand onto the finger pads and push down into the earth. Let's <laughs> <sighs> breathe. Good, okay. And then we're going to move ourselves in towards the center again. <laughs> yeah, you can take one. He's here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dog. Um, chaser has arrived. Good, one more. And then stay in the back motions. You're pushing your back back. Bring your hands to your thighs. Lift yourself up. Open your eyes. Just roll the shoulders in both ways a couple times. Good. Okay, I'm going to change the cross of the legs again. Maybe no hands. Yes. Good. Bring your hands together. Interlace the fingers. Let's reach out. And then lift yourself up, like, you know, right from the rib cage. Lift up. Good. One more breath. Now, as you exhale, just turn to the right. And then inhale back to center. And exhale, just turn to the left. 
come back. Let's do that one more time. If you need to bend your elbows, do that. Just turning. Good. And then come to center. Palms together. Bring them down in front of your heart. Change the cross of your legs. And we'll just do that one more time. Opposite interlace of the fingers. Extend up. You feel yourself lifting up. You're just picking yourself up right off of your hips. You're picking yourself up. Draw your belly in a little bit. Good. Maybe the hands are really holding each other and you're pressing the arms out. And then exhale, crescent now to the left, crescent. Then come up and then crescent to the right. One more time on each side. Just move with your breath. Good. And then come to center, release your hands and just pause and just feel all this good energy. Okay, all right. So um, we are gonna come onto our backs. Uh, I'm gonna start with the downward dog though. I just tell you that if you're just someone who needs to be on your back, that you can even just set yourself up um, lying on your back with maybe something underneath your head. Otherwise, we're gonna come into a downward dog and then let it be fluid. So maybe you bend, oh, here's a fun one. If you bend one knee and you take, let's say you bend the right knee, and then you shift that knee over to the left and you are twisting a little bit and then come back and then we'll bend the left knee and you move the left knee towards the right side. Yeah, just kind of find that little bit of whatever this is. Good, and then come back. And just rock a little front to back if that feels good. And then we're going to settle in for three breaths and really let your head hang. Press the arm, the hands down, and the arms nice and strong. And then soften your heart a little bit. Keep your belly in, press your thighs back. Good. And then lower down onto your hands and your knees, and we'll take a brief child's pose. And put your hands under your head if you need that, or be on your forearms if you need that. Just find a way to be in your little, your little child's seed. Feel your breath. And it's always fun to tune into at the beginning of your practice how this feels. Take one more breath. And we're going to just extend your arms out. And we're going to come up to hands and knees by a cat pose. So you round up through your back. And you come all the way up. And then tuck your toes under, release the belly, lift the chin. Look up, push the hands down. And then just move through cat cow. And find a bit of fluidity. So moving forward and back. Like feel the gracefulness of your cat and your cow. Your spine is so excited to be here and to be doing this. Move itself. Good. We're going to do around the world cat cow. If you need something under your knees, you can take the time to do that. Come to center, make it a little bit longer, hands longer, knees back. Drop the belly and then roll to one side and back and around. And feel everything that's happening. You might notice the shoulders are moving in opposition of each other. You might even hear some creaking. And then reverse this and circle opposite. I always think of this as like the old washing machines. You're just kind of scrubbing it out and creating space. Good. Okay, come back to your center. We'll take child's pose one more time. I'm going to put the tops of the feet down. Maybe the arms are going to be really extended if it's comfortable for you. If not, you know, you have to be in the place where you can be. So make it less, make it more. Feel your breath here. Oh, well, I know I said back. I feel we're going to do one more thing before we come onto our back. So prepare to come back up to your hands and knees. Round your back up like you're doing your cat. And then from here, I was going to take one knee forward. Let's say it's my left knee. It's just going to come forward. So it's not really pigeon. I'm going to walk the right foot back. So I'm just, I'm just here in the flexion. 
if it's no good, you know, you can maybe take it out or put it in the knee. Okay, and I'm gonna lay myself over this thigh. So I'm on the forearms. We'll just let the right, so the right hip is probably off the floor. You could, you know, wiggle your hips, find some entryway. And then just take maybe two breaths, just huh, melting in, even in the imbalancing. Good. And then we'll just switch legs. So come back up. Oh, maybe a downward dog in the middle. Settle your feet. And then the knees can come back down. This time, just take the right knee forward. Walk the left leg back. Be into whatever works here. We'll find some wiggle. Create the shape that serves you. And breathe. Okay, let it all go just for two breaths. All right, and I'm gonna come back. Take one last downward facing dog just to ah, stretch everything out. Good, okay. And just maybe you lift your heels, turn your heels both in one direction, and then set your knees down, your tush down, and here you are. Okay, so something for underneath your head. And I'm gonna have a strap. And you might want, I have these two dog beds here, but if you have your blocks, you might want to use those on either side. So you can set yourself up with that. Good. And we'll come to lie down. Just pause as you come to lie down and just ah, release your gravity. I have my knees bent, whatever works for you just to be as you are. Okay, well, I'm gonna start with the windshield wiper. So open the arms out, bend your knees, walk your feet out to the sides, and then just start to release your knees over one side and the other. Good. Okay, let's add the shoulders. So the next time your knees drop over to the right side, and keep them there, flex your feet a little bit, take the right arm up and over your head as if you want to reach, but you're just reaching it over. And then swing yourself back. So now the knees come up, the arms move back, and the knees are going to move to the left, and the left arm's going to come up and maybe over your head. The head can turn. We'll just flow into this little flow <laughs> side to side a few times. Just feel. Something very therapeutic, just rolling around on the ground. Good. Okay, as you come to center, we'll take both arms over the head and extend the legs if that's okay. Flex your feet, open your palms, and we'll just take a little hip walking. So we'll push the left leg away and the left arm will extend and then switch. And just do that a few times. Take yourself for a little, little walk here. Walk to nowhere. Good. And then bring yourself into whatever center. I'm going to keep my arms over my head. You can adjust that if you need to. Keep your feet flexed. Feel the center of your, the back of your heel is on the earth as much as you can. You might need to widen your legs. So just be open. Okay. I'm going to bend the left knee, put the left foot on the floor. Now walk your left foot out, just heel toe it out more to the left. And then we'll inhale. And as you exhale, drop this left knee in towards the inner right thigh. Yeah, so just pause here for a moment. And then inhale, lift the left knee up and, and wave it out to the left. Let the foot articulate. And then we'll just go back and forth between, you know, just waving just the left leg. Two times. Good. Okay. And then bring that knee back up, heel, toe back so we can switch legs. We extend the left leg, feel both heels, center the heels on the floor, and then bend your right leg from the hip to the floor. Heel, toe your right foot out to the right, fair distance. 
And then anchor left heel. And as you exhale, drop this left, uh, sorry, right knee to the inside of the left thigh. And just pause there for a moment. You, know, you might really anchor if you don't have knee pain, you can really push that knee down to the towards the floor. Good. And then we'll start to wave it. So just taking that out. Oh, sorry, it was just cracking my <laughs> my back. I wish that for all of you. Good. And just waving. Good. Do one more. And then we'll let the knee come up and heel toe the foot back. Extend the leg. Then it's time to bring the left knee all the way into your chest. And we'll take the arms up or use your strap and just rock this in and out. Good. And I'm really putting my mind into my right leg, really from the, the heels anchored, the foot's a little flexed. And then just pausing in the in the pose. So hug that left knee in, soften the belly area a little bit if you can. So you're releasing the back to the earth and this left thigh, wherever it is, if it's into your chest or not, it's just bringing that weight in. Good. Let's pause, soften the shoulders. And release. Okay, as I release the left leg out, my palms are inter my fingers are interlaced. So I'm just gonna flip, flip the palms, not flick them. Take them over the head, do a little hip walking. Magically change the interlace of the fingers while they're over your head. And then bring the right knee in. Hands will come up and just find that. And take your time here. You know, this is a pose we do often. That doesn't mean it's ever the same pose. So just feel and be compassionate and kind. Good. Feel into your left heel as best as you can. You know, it's, we're just challenging the inner thigh muscles a little bit when we really put our mind in the foot. Pushing the big toe mount and the inner heel out a little bit. Good. And then let this right thigh drop in wherever it's going to go. Let the shoulders go. Be with the breath, let the back go. Now this, this pose is so nourishing for our insides. With the legs open, a little bit of pressure into the intestinal area and everything else is there. Okay, release, flip the palm, take them over your head. Extend, and this time I'm gonna bring both knees in. So you might bend your knees, feet to the floor first, or just bring them in and hug them in and out. Yeah, so whatever you need, you do it every time. You hug in whatever you can, rock what you can. Okay, we're gonna settle in here, whatever that means for you. If your knees need to go out, let that happen. I'm flexing my feet, but I'm really gonna push out through the heels. And soften the buttocks a little bit if you can. Soften your jaw, your shoulders. And take one more breath. I feel already we're not going to get to the wall because here's what's coming next. We're going to release the hands, lower the feet to the floor, separate your feet a comfortable distance, whatever needs to happen. Lift your hips, put the hands underneath like we do with the palms facing down. Spread your fingers, open your feet, let the shoulders be restful. Uh, when I say open your feet, let me rephrase that. What does that mean, Joe? Widen your feet apart. We're gonna do a windshield wiper again here. Okay, this time though, maybe the feet are gonna go out like away from your body a little bit or they come in. Just change wherever you place them, change it a little bit. And then move into windshield wiper. And the focus here is that these hands and maybe your wrists are gonna massage the outer hip, the buttock area. So maybe your hands are doing a little bit of walking around and just finding new places. Such a tender area for most of us, this outer hip area. And just 
you know, enjoy. Good. All right, and then we'll bring ourselves to rest. If you walked your feet out or you walked them in, just go to the opposite one you did, the one you didn't choose. And the feet might go wider apart. Okay, I'm gonna go back to windshield wiper, but this time I'm gonna bring the hands into the little fists. So it's definitely um, not as pleasurable. And it's really just about mushing your tush, whatever way. You could still have the hands on the floor. Okay. And then I'm gonna release, put the palms back on the floor, let the hips or tush hang heavy on the hands. Good. And then spend your legs out. So now we'll just, so wherever you feel your hand that's not comfortable, make adjustments. Find the center of the heel, flex through your feet. Maybe a little hip walking here. Just extending one leg and the other. Hips are moving and you can feel your, your bones there, maybe on the backs of your hands and all the fleshy stuff. Just love it. Good. Okay, now bring yourself just to lie down, but the feet are still flexed. Now with the heels on, middle of the heel on the floor, it's gonna turn the toes all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. So the legs are straight. Okay, if you need to take your hands out from where they are, you do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep my hands here. Come back to center. Let your feet flop for a moment. Just do nothing but breathe. One more big breath in. Out and now bring your heels back. So flex your, you know, your legs are like you're standing on them. Bring them right together so that the big toes are touching, heels are probably apart. Okay, now I'm going to roll the feet onto the right side, and the left foot's going to come on top of the right. And I can use that left hand to kind of push into the floor, and then we'll just roll back. So it is like if you remember in the 50s, maybe 70s the workout machines, and there was one that you'd stand on and just twist. <laughs> I just remember from my grandmother's apartment. So I feel like this is kind of that, this twisting machine. You're just twisting, using your hands, your shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna do one more on each side. Whatever you're doing, you're doing great. And then rest, take the hands out, open them out to the side. You can separate your legs apart, let the feet flop, and just breathe. And feel all that. Okay. Take your strap. And I'm just gonna release this loop. We're gonna have it nice and open. Okay, let's bend the let's bend both legs, both feet to the floor. And we'll start with a bent knee. So put your feet in a comfortable hip distance apart position. We'll bring the right knee in, place the strap over the foot, extend the foot up. And we're gonna start with the shoe shine, foot shine. You didn't do a foot massage at the beginning here. This is your foot massage. You can have your knee bent, legs straight, whatever you like. Just rock the strap up and down your beautiful foot, looping energy. Good, and do one more all the way, balls of the feet, back to the heel, and then find the center of your foot. Okay, I just automatically walked my left foot out a little bit just to you know, compensate for space. Then extend your leg up to wherever it needs to go. And we're gonna do the same kind of work we've been doing where you're gonna feel like the heel, the center of the heel is pressing into the floor and you can extend out. So you can see I, my leg can be far away. Actually, you know what, if you drop the leg, let's say we bring the knees in line with knees. So just see if you can do that. And then press, you know, that right heel away. You might even notice a little arch in your low back that comes up. And you can let that come back down to the floor. And I'm just looking at my foot. I'm going to spread my toes. Good. Okay, one more breath. And then bring your leg uh, wherever it's going to go. If it goes up in, you know, heel over hip, great. Take your hands, maybe reach up a little higher on that strap, and we're just gonna hang here. Literally, you're hanging. You can let the left leg extend out. Okay, so let's say this. When you're in downward facing dog, I said press the thighs back. 
So if you, I've just taken both straps into the left hand, my right hand just patty behind the right thigh. There it is. And I'm going to press from there. So if that doesn't make sense, maybe you take your hand to the front of your right thigh and just kind of push it away. Okay. Now at the same time, as I'm, as it's, you know, it's always many, many things to do. So I push that away and I'm still flexing the foot, pushing through the heel, but I also want to let everything release to the floor. So it's active and passive. And if that doesn't make sense, really don't worry about it. Just do what you need to do. Soften your back muscles if you can. One more breath. Good. Okay, well, I have both ends of the strap in the left hand, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm just moving both ends over to the left side of my body. Take the right arm out. Now I'm going to take this right leg out to the right while the left hand is holding it. Maybe use your block or your dog bed or nothing to support it if you need it. Find that integrity in the heel. So you're pushing through the center of the heel. Oh, that's a much better. You're gorgeous. Good. And now I'm doing the same thing with the left side. So you might be rolling in your left hip and lifting. See if you can maybe find that place where the left hip comes back down. So I've kind of lifted the right leg. I feel the left leg, left hip is engaged. And then I'll open from there. Okay. One more breath as you are. Maybe you press from your inner thighs to the center of your foot. Change hands. So the right hand's holding the strap. Take the left arm out to the side. One more breath. You can let your left leg relax. So I'm going to bring this right leg back up. Okay. So I'm just going to fold it with the right hand. We're going to take it over to the left side. So you can use your block if you need it. And then as you roll to the left, let the left leg turn. So you actually roll yourself maybe all the way to the left side. Okay. I'm going to just find some integrity in the, in the heel area. Both, have both legs, and I'm also opening this right hip away. Okay, you can change hands if you, if, you know if this feels really uncomfortable, but just taking the opportunity for a little shoulder action. So I'm going to take that right shoulder, the one that's facing the ceiling, and just draw it back. So it's almost like I'm pulling this leg back a little bit. The leg is pushing back. One more breath. <coughs> Soften. Okay. And then come all the way back. Separate the strap into both hands again. <coughs> Find your center. Whatever that is, just be here and let the left leg relax. And we're going to start to wave this right leg in and out. So you might want to hold the buckle in one hand so it doesn't hit you in the face. <laughs> and then your arms can move in any way. You know, maybe they open out to the side or they come over your head. You're just waving this leg. If you need to bend the left leg to make everything a little happier, do that. Just feel. Yes. Okay. Take the leg up and now we're going to sway it side to side. So I'm going to open my hands, hold the strap. I have lots of room and let the right leg just slide. So we're getting a little foot massage. At the same time, okay, I'm going to add integrity into the left leg, even to the right foot. Good. Okay, and then bring the leg back up to center. Take your hands, reach up as high as you can. Gently pull this leg towards you, and if you feel called, draw your belly in, tuck the elbows into the body, lift your head and your chest. You pull this leg, you want to hover the left leg off the floor and press it away. Do that. Good. And then lower your head, release the right foot, let the strap rest, let your legs rest, let your arms rest, and do nothing. You feel all the magic. You know, it's an amazing thing. You can really feel the two sides of the body. And the subtlety in the right cheek more relaxed than the left. Okay. Good. All right. 
let's take a little, uh, before we do the second side, I'm just going to take a little interlude. So I'm going to bring the legs right together, flex through the feet. You're going to feel the right heel centered on the floor. And you're going to take the left leg on top of the, so I'm just going to put my left heel between the second and the big toe of the right foot. So I'll say it again. So the right leg stays on the floor, the left leg's gonna come on top of the right leg, and I'm gonna find, you know, my heel. I have the big toe on one side, big toe of the right foot on the left side. So, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna show it. So I just have to cross, put the heel on top there. Okay, now I'm gonna find the integrity in the heels. So the feet are flexing, it's like I'm pulling both toes up, pressing the heels away. Toes are drawing towards the face, pushing the heels away. And at the same time, I'm also really pressing that left heel into that little space there. Okay, now I'm gonna wave this package of the legs of the feet side to side. So your arms are out to the side, you can have your palms down if you like. Just do this a few times. Good. Okay, and then come to center, release, turn your palms up, let the feet flop just for one moment, feel. And awakening in the legs and the feet. And then bring your heels to the floor like you're standing on your feet. Keep the left heel on the floor, pop that right foot on top. Find the nice little house there for the heel. And then be there. And now I'm gonna flex the toes towards my nose and push the heels away. So that you know the legs are, are active. Pull the toes towards your face, press the heels away, and then start to wind this side to side. Just very slowly, nicely. Don't have to go all the way to anywhere. You're just rotating your body. Maybe that's what that machine was called, like a rotating machine. <laughs> okay, not that it matters. Come back, and then uncross. Let the legs flop and just be. And then we'll do that same little sequence with the left leg. Okay, so as you're ready, friends, um, we can start by bending the right leg, right foot to the floor, and then we'll bring the left foot in, put the strap at the, on the foot, and then we're going to start with the shoe shine. So it could be straight or bent, whatever works best. Enjoying this little bit of friction on your foot. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do one more up to the balls of the feet, down to the heel on the center of the foot. And then we'll extend the leg, but we're going to start that same way we did. So I'm going to just walk the right foot out a little bit so I feel balanced in the hips. That means that, you know, both sit bones or both hip bones are evenly weighted. And now take that left knee in line with the right knee. So you let the strap slide through your hands. And then press out through the heel. And you might feel the cat and the, the little bit of a cow pose coming in. So if you push it away. If you don't feel it, don't, don't worry. Every body is different. I only speak from my own. So now take the belly back down if you've if you've lifted. Push through the heel, let the, you know, you might even feel like the thigh bone is pushing away, you're getting more freedom in your hip. So release your back to the floor. Anything else in engage to help this? So let it go. And then we'll bring the leg up wherever it goes for you is lovely and fine. Let the hands reach up, grab the strap. And then if you want to extend the right leg, here we are. Let's take a few moments. So I'm actually, you know, gently drawing on the strap, pressing up through that the back heel. You can be here for a moment or two. And we'll take both ends of the strap into the right hand. And then the left hand can, you know, remind yourself where the back of your left thigh is. And then start to press up through the back of the thigh and the heel. And if that doesn't do anything, you're not sure, put the left hand on the front of the left thigh and just press it away. 
Okay, if your knee is bent, that's all fine. Things are happening. Take one more breath. Good. I'm going to let the left arm come out and we're going to take this left leg over to the left so that you can use your cross as you need to. And keep the right hand holding the strap as I open out. And as you open, if you feel, I'm just doing it if you're watching, but the right hip is lifting, if you can come back where the hips are on the floor and the opening is coming more from the leg opening and from the back assisting. So that press out through the heels or even from the inner thigh out to the inner arch of the foot might be helpful. Good. Okay. I'm going to just change hands. So the left hand's going to hold the strap now, and the right arm's going to come up to the side. And we're just here for another few moments. So, you know, I can say add in the integrity of the you know, strength of your legs. But if you need to just rest in this shape, maybe that's the medicine you need. So find your, you're happy for maybe two more breaths. Okay, and then we'll take the leg up. We're gonna switch hands. We're gonna take the left arm out to the side. We're gonna roll right onto the right side. And let the right leg turn. Let the left hip lift. You're here and then prop up if you need a block under your leg. Or, you know, I'm just gonna keep mine just as it is. And then taking this left hip, and pressing it away and then pressing out through the heels of both feet. Now, I keep saying heel. It's not that the rest of the foot isn't present. It is. We're just opening the backs of the legs. And one more breath. Great. Okay. And then we we'll bring it up. I'll perhaps switch arms, but A-okay. All right, take your hands either side of the strap and find the first position here. Just let yourself rest, hold back into the floor, even you know, feeling that this whole left leg is just dropping into its hip socket. And then we're going to start to move this leg forward and back. So adjust where your buckle is if you need to. And start to move this leg. And the arms are going to just dance along. So whatever feels good. Arms might open up to the side and they might come over your head. Or you might do a little combination of both. Good. Wow. So nice. I'm going to do one more. And then we'll bring the leg wherever it's going to go. And take the hands, reach up high on your strap. And then you can stay here, a little pressure on the strap, but you tuck the elbows in. Draw your belly in, lift your head and chest. Bring that leg in. You can lift the right leg if you like. Push out through the heels. And then lower yourself all the way down. Let the left leg come down. Strap can just rest on your body. Arms out to the side and then let your legs just flop. And just feel. Okay, we'll take the strap. Uh, actually, you know, let's keep this, we'll just keep it handy. Let's put it where you know where it is. Let's bend the knees, feet to the floor. Good. Okay, I'm going to keep um, the left foot on the floor. Just bring your right knee in and just hug it in for a moment. Okay. And then we're going to take just the right leg to a happy baby. So if it doesn't work comfortably, you can just fold behind the thigh. And the leg can also stay bent, but you just find it. And we're just going to rock in this happy baby. So I'm going to walk the left foot out to the left a little bit. Take the left arm out to the side. And then you're going to roll onto your right side. So you use the left foot. Maybe the right knee comes down to the floor and the left knee comes to the inside. And then I'm just going to lift the left knee to bring myself back and roll right onto the left side. So the left knee comes down and just Open this right leg, maybe straighten it and then roll yourself back. And then just do that again. So you roll onto the right side, 
The right knee maybe comes down, the left knee comes in. Maybe you want to straighten your leg here. Doesn't have to happen. <laughs> it's all fine. And then just roll yourself back. And like now you kind of got the motion of this ocean. You can let the right, you know, the heel might come, be almost making like a smile. Like as you roll onto your back and you keep coming down and then circling up. So just be there in this. So you imprint this. Good. Okay. And you do all the way over to the left side and you come back onto the back in this happy baby. This half happy baby. If you want to stretch the left leg out for a breath or two, that's great. Otherwise, make it your own. Good. And then release and rest. So I have both legs extended. You have them both bent. Just rest. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'll start by bending the right leg, right foot to the floor, and then bring that left leg into your happy baby. Whatever it is, and even just holding the knee in, it works. <laughs> okay, walk your right foot out a little bit to the right once you've got this. Pause, and then we'll start rolling to the left side. So the left knee come, maybe touches the earth, and the right knee comes in. And then you'll lift the right knee and roll yourself over to the right. And once you kind of have this little thing, then you start stretching the leg open or rolling through the heel. So be playfully curious. I think if your mother could see you now, she'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> or she might be like, oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> I don't know. But that just popped in my head. So just feel this. Good. And then Take the last extension, come back to your half happy baby, extend the right leg if you like. Please. It's like a lunge on your back. Okay, I'm gonna bring that right leg in for a full happy baby. Just hug, hold your feet or your thighs or your knees, whatever you need, rock side to side. So you're gonna get one knee to the floor or the other. And then you might even stretch the leg. So the one leg stretch and the other foot comes into your chest. And you're really imprinting on the mid back, upper back here. Good. Okay. And then we'll come to center. Pause, one breath, and happy baby. And then lower your feet to the floor. Okay. So we're just going to take our little bridge a few times. Uh, so that's, I'm going to take your arms down. I'm going to use the strap today just because it's here. So you'll take your strap and you're just going to place the strap over the front of your heat, uh, ankles. So I've just kind of brought the knees in and just placing it. And then the feet will come down. And the feet are going to be you know, a nice distance apart that feels comfortable. Yeah. And then maybe even turn your heels out slightly and your toes in. And then walk your fingers up the strap so your arms are straight. You can hold on to the strap, place the upper arms firmly to the floor, back of the head to the floor. So that, you know, there's some, you feel that the strap is holding the heels in a little bit. Okay, press your outer heels into the strap, no, not outer heels, your outer ankles, the ankle bone out. And then you're gonna feel the feet nice and strong, inhale. And as you exhale, start to lift the hips and you're pulling the legs with your arms. That's gonna really, like with your hands, you might be able to walk your upper arms underneath more. Breathe, feel your feet, you know, lift your toes. And then exhale, lower all the way down. And if you like that with the strap, we're gonna do it again. If not, you feel free to ditch the strap. The, pose, the whole pose is you actually hold on to the front of the ankles. So we're just mimicking that and using that to also get the arms and the shoulders in position. So feel your feet, press the outer ankles into the strap, inhale, exhale, press your back into the earth, and then inhale, start to come up. And you can walk your arms underneath you more, I'm pulling the strap, I'm pressing, out at the same time. 
and release. I'm going to release the strap because this time I'm going to take my hands underneath the back. If that's no good for you, you put your arms wherever you like for the third one. Okay, so we'll inhale as you are. Exhale. And then as you inhale, start to press up. Maybe you interlace your fingers and walk your upper arms underneath you. And then extend the arms. So the fingers are connected it's like I'm pulling the arms apart, like we did at the very beginning of class. Pull your tail to your knees. Feel your feet. The inner heel, anchoring, and release your arms maybe first, and then lower all the way down. And just come down and rest. Just gonna slide the strap off to the side. Separate your feet. A little windshield wiper. If you want to take your arms over your head, do that. And maybe this time, as the knees drop to the left, the right arm extends. And as the knees drop to the right, the left arm extends. Good. Okay. And bring yourself to center. Pause here <coughs> for a breath or two. Okay. And then we're going to come up and set up for Shavasana. Um, okay. So roll to the side or just pop yourself up, whatever feels good. Um, all right. So we have, we have about, we have a, a little bit of time. Whew. Legs up the wall if you like that, then let's do that. And I, I can also tell you when you can shift into um, Shavasana if you like. And if you want to just set up for a sweet Shavasana in any way you like, that is fine too. So, okay, I'm going to do legs up the wall and I'm going to use the strap to just belt the legs in a little bit, kind of like we did in class, in the last class. So with a little bit of space between the, the blocks, I mean the strap. So it's not going to be super tight. I'm just going to make my loop. Yeah. So make it nice. If you're just adjust. If you're coming into Shavasana right now, I'm not doing legs up the wall. That's that's totally fine. So I'm just going to put the strap in the center of the thighs, and I'll sit on my bolster. Bring the tush to the wall. Onto the back. Yeah. Okay. And you're happy. So that the support of the bolster, if it's a hindrance, if that's not helping you to feel comfortable here, then you can replace it with a blanket. And now I've got the strap, I'm not super tight, but I'm going to let the legs go a little wider apart than they normally would here. I'm going to center the heels on the floor, on the wall as best as I can, even if they don't stay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whatever position you're in, just release yourself. You can even say, I release myself and offer myself space to rest consciously release. Offering yourself to your props, to the floor, to the wall, to whatever props you place. Make it delicious and nourishing. If you're doing something completely indulgent, luxurious, and the deepest form of self-care you're offering right now. Feel yourself held, supported, energized, and free. Just resting into all that you are, Shavasana. Feel your eyes release to the center of your skull. All the senses turning inwards. It's 
exploring your inner world without thinking, just feeling, sensing. happy and legs up along then stay and if you need to shift and you could do so now Hopping into the deepest state of relaxation. Resting into the earth. this deep state of relaxation, you can now feel the flow of your breath, like the tides of the ocean, cleansing waters, feeding every cell of your being in this state of relaxation. Staying here in your rest if you wish to for as long as you would like. I want to start to just gently awaken ourselves, just making little movements. That would feel good. And if you're still on legs up the wall, you could slide your strap off your legs and then kind of hug your knees in or rest with your feet at the wall for a few moments. Going to your side when you're ready. And then rest there for at least three breaths. Just feeling that there's always a little bit more to let go. We honor the work, we honor the rest before we just move on to our day. And if you come up to sitting, you just also take that time to just be, be in your own supportive presence and and you just were bringing your mind back to the opening of this practice and Feeling all that good energy being sent to your way and that you filled your space with. And as you exhale, joining the palms together and bowing your chin and just honoring all that is. And 
seal this practice with our may, may we be blessed mantra in one own. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. And inhale. Oh. Bowing your chin, breathe into your hand. And offer all that you need into this little space here. Lift your chin and open your eyes and offer this deeply to yourself. Yes. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for being here and for sharing this practice in this space. Much gratitude and love from my heart. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of this day. And we'll see you guys soon. Love you all. Bye, guys. <laughs>